Hello children. I hope everyone is fine and okay in his her home. Here is Alka Pandey to teach you all the E class of social history. Children, this is the content table of your unit test 1. Four chapters we have included in it. Chapter 1 story of the past chapter 2 sources of history chapter 3 calendars and timeline and chapter 5 motions of the earth children today i am going to elaborate the chapter 1 story of the past the content which we are going to cover in this chapter are meaning of history need to study history categorization of history and worksheet this is chapter 1 story of the past first main point is meaning of history and the sub point of it whatever has passed is history so students in general way we can say whatever our parents grandparents and their parents have done it is all history the day your parents were born and what they did many years ago is now history the second sub point is history deals in terms of events people actions so if we want to define history so we can say history is the study of events people and their lives in the past it helps us to know what happened in the past and how things were changing and are changing with the time for example we can take that uh, in present time we all are facing the problem from the epidemic of covid-19 it is in present but how the forthcoming generation will know about it only by history so children history can be good or bad both history can give us the information good or bad both history helps us to know how life was in the past as in ancient time people walked long distances but as they got knowledge they started using animals and gradually they got more knowledge so they started the use of tongas cards etc and then after after the long span of time as they get more and more knowledge so they started using cars buses trams trains aeroplanes and helicopters so students in short we can say history is the story of the past Then look at these personalities. Are you able to know them? Yes. You can easily identify the first one and the second one. First one is the late Prime Minister of India, Miss Indira Gandhi. And the second one is the late President of India, Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam. But can you identify the third one it creates problem why because he is a common man he did not do any great work any contribution to the society so that history remembers him but other two are famous personalities we remember them 
because of their great feats and their important contribution to the society and nation and to the world thus students history remembers them who who do who do great task great work great action and important contribution to the society so students if you also and we also want to be the part of the history so we also have to do the same like them we also have to do the great work the great task and make important contribution to the society nation and to the world children in short we can say history remembers those who pay extraordinary contribution to humanity society etc in any field oh yeah 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 yes yeah, yeah, students so get inspired to be part of this club children next point is need to study history the point is to gain knowledge information so children we need to study history to gain knowledge information about any field it can be of any field it all is history the second sub point is x as an experience to repeat mistake here it means that a knowledge about past helps us to avoid mistakes which we have done earlier we never repeat the same mistakes which we have done earlier history helps us not to do the mistake so our past gives us way to our present and leads us to the future children this is the last point last point is categorization of history as we all know as we discussed history includes everything hence it's too vast it's too vast means our past is too vast we can't learn it as a whole that's why historians have divided history to make it easier to study that's why it needs to be divided in time frame and who has divided history historians historians have divided history into three periods here with this diagram we can easily understand the categorization of history history the story of the past and it has been divided into three periods ancient period medieval period and modern period ancient period it's very old time in history and few sources were available at this time and medieval period middle period in history more sources were available at the time third one the last modern period it is the present recent time in history and many sources are available at this period so students in short we can say very old time it is ancient period ancient history the recent period it is modern history and in between ancient and modern period the time duration between the ancient and modern period it is called medieval history medieval period or medieval history okay students so the whole chapter i have discussed with you i explained everything to you and then 
you have to solve this worksheet. A worksheet is here. You have to do this page 4 and 5 and uh, exercise A, B and C. You also have to do the picture study. Children, this worksheet is to exercise your understanding, to enhance your knowledge, to practice your mind. This is the exercise of your mind and understanding. Okay. So to solve this, you have to maintain a notebook, maybe new or old, because are closed. You can use any notebook which is easily available at home. Okay, and you have to do all exercise by self and thoroughly one time. You read the whole chapter. Okay, students, good day. Stay home and learn from home. All the best. Bye-bye.